Hello everybody, Jocelyn here. So, I know it's been some quite some time. I wanted to update you with what's been going on. As you can see in my hand, I have this custom awesome splint that my um, occupation therapist, Anne, has made. I totally kind of painted it because I was kind of sick of the boring colors and I don't know, couldn't get, I kind of missed my pink cast, so use that color and, and stuff. And just want to let you know how it's doing. Um, so here's my hand. You can totally see the scarring. Um, this is a huge improvement from exactly, I don't know, more than two months ago when I couldn't, when it was like in form. So I've been doing these like simple, actually challenging exercises, my dad, um, and doing that and doing my best to kind of make it fit as best I can. If I had to give it um, the feeling back in my hand, I would say I'm at least... I don't know, 45%, you still can't grab things, and I don't know, it's been a cool experience. So um, today, um, practicing certain things like this is pretty awesome. Um, I just wanted to share and um, hopefully give you guys hope. Look, I was able to do this and I could stick two thumbs up now. Um, that despite whatever you're going through, despite your circumstances or any excuses that you kind of let in and out of your life, um, one thing that has helped me was to focus on the things that are going right in your life. Because most of the time we focus on the things that are going wrong. It's so easy and sometimes I'll catch myself do it all the time and thinking like, oh my god, I'm such a failure, I'm such a loser. But that's what makes us human, right? Trial and error. So I wanted to help you give you guys some hope and say it's all right shift your focus hopefully and um yeah i just want to say thank you so much for everybody's support um and my family thank you for my girlfriend for being there awesome sorry if i broke your hand but <laughs> uh, these exercises are kind of painful but um yeah 